Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's TA and we can start straight in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin created this potential bullish pattern here, this ascending triangle in the short time frames. But it looks like that we're not able to break through this $9,300 resistance to go up and retest the $9,900. So currently I'm still in a short position over on uh, Bybit and I'm planning to add more shorts the more we're going towards here the support of $8,900 and potentially also break to the downside. Currently in the one hour we are starting to trade below the 50 in the RSI so this could be the initial stage for a dump here also the stochastic were overbought and we're shifted now to the downside we have to see in case that we're gonna close this hourly candle below 9170 this could initiate here the retest of this $8,900 and there we have to see if we will bounce like here back up or are we breaking down here to the downside and in that case the target would be the first target would be at around 8k the second one if this also doesn't hold at around six thousand two hundred dollar so we can also go over to the bollinger band and here you can see in the one hour that we broke out here from the middle line after overshooting it to the upside and test the main resistance here of the bollinger band macd could have a bearish cross here so here we really are in a very critical point we could be just at the beginning here of a bigger dump and if we go over to the four hour time frame also here you can see that currently we are trading below the 20 moving average in the four hour the rsi didn't manage to trade above the 50 so we are getting rejected here from the 50 level and stochastic is overbought so also here it looks like that we could be shifted again to the downside if we're gonna close also here this four hour candle below 9200 50. In that case, also watch out here for the 200 moving average in the 4 hour at $8,800. Here we could see an initial support, maybe to retest the new resistance and then break down. It is possible, but we have to wait what we'll see in the next couple of hours because in the 1 hour and 4 hour, it's setting up for a potential dump. And keep in mind that we closed the CME on 9175 on Friday so wherever we are going today we're gonna have a future gap up to this uh, price level of 9195 so keep that in mind so we can go back here to the bitstamp chart and also open up the daily time frame because also here you can see that currently we're trading right at the 20 daily moving average we had a little bounce yesterday but still we didn't see a big bounce to potentially test here this $9,900 and this signals me that we could be a bit weak currently that the bulls are not showing up at the moment and we could be in here for a potential dump. RSI is right at the 50 and stochastic is oversold so we should see a big bounce here to the upside towards 9,900 right now otherwise things could start to look very bearish especially if we're gonna lose here the 50 level in the RSI and let's go also quickly over to the Bollinger band first let's open up again the four hour because here you're right in the middle area macd is still shifted to the upside but you can see that we are getting squeezed in this tiny bollinger band between 9400 and the support here at 9000 dollar so currently i'm expecting here a test of this 9400 or a retest of this 8970 dollars support and now we can go over to the daily time frame here we can also zoom in a little bit in the bollinger band because you see that we could could be getting rejected here from the middle line we didn't manage to trade above this nine thousand three hundred thirty five dollars currently after we closed below the 20 daily moving average so in theory here we could be easily shifted towards this eight thousand five hundred dollar but if we're going that low i think it's also possible that we go first down to test also the eight thousand dollar level and also the macd had a bearish cross so also here we are in theory shifted to the downside and that's why you see that i'm keeping up my short position because at the moment i see a potential dump incoming and also remember that we have many longs compared to the shorts so it is very possible that if we're gonna lose here this $8,900 support there will be a lot of longs getting stopped out or liquidated and if we're dropping towards $8,500 to potentially $8,000 this would 
be even worse for all these uh, longs that are opened uh, currently. So we can go back to the bitstamp chart and if we zoom out here a little bit you can see the Fibonacci retracement from the bottom that we had of 3850 and here the top of $10,000. So in case that Bitcoin is coming down to retrace completely to the 0.618 Fib line here at $6,200 this is very possible. Bitcoin likes to retrace back to this level but you see that we also have a lot of supports up here especially here at the 0.382 Fib line at around $7,700 dollar this area here and also where the 200 daily moving average is lining up at eight thousand dollar so i think if we are able to bounce somewhere here at around seven thousand seven hundred to eight thousand dollar and we test again here the main resistance and potentially also break it then i think we should be good to go for a big bull run and we will never see those prices ever again in bitcoin but in case that these two lines here will not hold here the 200 daily and also the 0.382 fib line then i'm pretty convinced that we will see also here the 0.618 at 6230 coming pretty soon and this is also where I'm gonna scale in everything that I took out over here I'm gonna scale in between 7700 down to 6200 dollar everything you will be able to buy here will be very cheap especially for the long time frame it's also possible that we're going lower, but I think already those prices over here should be quite reasonable. So all in all, there could be a big dump incoming, but not necessarily. It is possible there are some signs that we could see first a little dump or capitulation before we're really going to take off uh, with the uh, price and you want to be sure to be ready to buy if the price is gonna drop so make sure that you're ready for all situation in case you didn't take out some profits here at around 9900 i think this would be the last chance before a potential dump not necessarily we're gonna dump but it is possible and in case that you're not prepared for that scenario i think now is the last chance to do so and we can also have a final look on the weekly time frame because uh, today we're gonna close the weekly candle and it looks like that the first time we're gonna have a big red candle hopefully we can stay at least above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average so as long as we're closing above 8800 or 8200 dollars today the weekly time frame will still look very bullish also the rsi is still trading above the 50 stochastic is coming in overbought territory but it could be that here we're gonna see the first red week and also maybe the next couple of weeks will be a retest here of the 20 weekly moving average potential even go lower so we are in a very critical point although if we zoom out here because we could be in here for a potential test of this ten thousand five hundred dollar and also break it to the upside but if we are going one more time back down here to cool off and restart an attempt of the bulls here to break that one could be then the real beginning of a bull run and also maybe then we are able to break this huge resistance that is coming down here it is possible that we could also break it right now but as i told you there are some signs that we first could see another little drop before the real bull run. We can also have a look on the Bollinger Band in the weekly time frame because also here if we zoom in a little bit you can see that we came here very close to the top of the Bollinger Band at $10,800. MACD is still shifted to the upside but we could also retrace completely back down here to the middle area at around $8,200 before seeing another bounce back up here to retest the resistance. So also here in the weekly even if we go down to $8,000 this should be still very bullish for the long time frame so i'm pretty sure that we will see eight thousand dollar again before the real bull run it's not yet clear if also we're gonna see the prices at around six thousand to five thousand dollar again here at the bottom it is possible but in that case this could be also very bearish because then we would start to trade in another bear trend but as long as we're staying above eight thousand dollar we should be still shifted to the upside all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up remember that if you also want to trade with a leverage bitcoin and other assets you can do that over on uh, bybit femex prime xpt or also bityard you find all the sign up links if you don't have an account down below here in the video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also you can get some rewards so definitely open up an account with my links you will get all these sign up bonuses and also don't forget to join me over on discord so the chat is completely for free everyone is uh, welcome and also i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make also sure to join the twitch channel and of course also subscribe here on the youtube channel so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one
Bye.